Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word provides you with multiple drawing tools that allow you to create circles around important information or enhance your document with drawn objects in any way that you wish. You may, for example, insert text art in order to create an impressive title for your document. Perhaps you'd also like to create a small flowchart in your document. Either way, Word will be able to help you to put additional drawn objects into your document in order to enhance its appearance. Now one way you can accomplish inserting pictures and drawings is to use the insert command from the menu bar, but another way is to use the drawing toolbar. The drawing toolbar appears in Word when you click the drawing button on the standard toolbar, which we can use to easily turn it on and off, or you can choose view and then choose toolbars from the menu bar and just turn the drawing toolbar on and off that way. Now it will usually appear as an embedded toolbar at the bottom of the Word application. Now there are many different objects which you can draw and modify. These objects include lines, ovals, rectangles, and arrows among others. You use the drawing toolbar to quickly add these impressive additional graphics. For example, you could add a vertical line across the document to separate and clarify different text topics and it's a fairly simple process. You would simply click on the one you want to add and then click and drag in your document at the place where you would like to add the drawing. You can also draw circles around important figures and charts. You even have the option to add text to say a triangle or circle instead of it always having to appear within a text box per se. So now we're going to take a look at some of the different options that we have using the drawing toolbar. Let's start by looking at inserting auto shapes into your document. Auto shapes are general object types that Word provides by default to you. These are lines, connectors, basic shapes, block arrows, flow charts, stars and banners, and callouts. You can see those categories when you click the auto shapes button on the drawing toolbar. Now, inserting auto shapes from the toolbar is fairly easy. Just click the auto shapes button and a pop-up menu appears with the sets of auto shapes that you can select from. If you roll your mouse pointer up to the type that you want, you'll see a side menu of specific object choices. Slide over to the specific one that you would like to create and then click it. Your mouse pointer then changes to a black crosshair when you place it back into the document. Click and drag from one corner where you want the object to begin, down and across to the opposite corner where you want it to end. In the 2003 and XP versions, you also have a box appear into which you can place your drawn object. Note that you do not have to draw your object inside of this box if you do not want to. It is optional. However, you may wish to delete the drawing box that appears if you won't be using it. After the object has been inserted, right-clicking on the object will provide you with a pop-up menu of options for the object. You may choose Format Auto Shape to change the properties of the object in the Format Auto Shape dialog box. Here we can use things like the Colors and Lines tab to set the fill color, the line color. We can use Size to determine its size. And whenever you're finished, just click OK. Also note that what we will begin to look at in these few lessons coming up is that you can use the fill color button, the line color button, the font color button if you have text, line style, dash style, and arrow style if you have arrows, shadow, and 3D all in the drawing toolbar to make the same changes that you can typically make through the format auto shape. It's just sometimes a bit easier to access them down here on the drawing toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.